Hello everyone and welcome back to Taito Ecology, the absolutely adorable, absolutely awesome game in which we build our own biodomes and man our own ecologies with all sorts of different producers and consumers and all sorts of different animals. And I have some bad news. So I was trying very hard to man things in the background, gain all of those terror points and really impress you guys when you came back to Fernville with me. I've been running it like on high speeds in the background and then I came in tonight and you know, I've been checking on it during the day and it's been fine collecting those terror coins everything's doing good and i came back today right now and well i think everything died <laughs> I'm more than a little bit alarmed. I had so many. I had hundreds of ferns that I had been constantly adding in left and right to show you guys and to really be like, wow, look at all of these. Isn't this so cool? And I added in more of the little creatures. I added in more of our little like agoutis and I added in more ocelots. And now it seems like everything is dead. Like there's a skull here. I, I think we've done a bad, you guys. I think I have. I think I've killed everything. Like I am pretty sure... I have destroyed the biodome in a horrible, horrible mass extinction event. I am not sure what to think about. The oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. Do you want a collapsing ecosystem? Because that's how you're going to get... Because this is how you're going to get a collapsing ecosystem. <gasps> I think there was too much poop, you guys. I think we had way too much poop. Um, that's pretty bad. Pretty bad. We have some happy ants, but it looks like their health is starting to decline. It looks like we have, oh my gosh, some more ocelots. I am not sure how to fix this. I thought maybe we would be able to man things enough by all of the like mushrooms we had down. Because we had plenty of mushrooms, but it doesn't look like like the surrounding detris is removed. And it doesn't look like we have enough detris removed to try to see even. Um... So I, I think we killed it all. I think we killed it all. There's just skulls everywhere. There's just skulls and poop. It's just skulls and poop as far as the eye can see. So this wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. And we're going to go ahead and we'll unlock both the millipedes and the earthworms right now. And let's go ahead and just start adding in some more fr like mushrooms frantically. So this is pretty good because then it tells me, because I kind of thought if they covered a range, then it would be fine. But this tells me for sure that uh, in a very painful manner, mind you, that you need to have lots of decomposers scattered absolutely all over the place because that's how it works in real life too. Only a certain amount of the poop can be cleaned up by our decomposers. And if we exceed the amount that they can clean up, then there's going to be this cascading chain where everything dies like we are currently observing. I don't think we have any agouti for our ocelots to survive on. So I should probably add some more of them in in just a second here. As soon as we get more of the little points. Let's speed this up a little bit. Biodome, I feel like you're misleading us with 99% health there. Just I'm just saying, just saying. All right, detritus level is super high. They have 492 more days until they're able to reproduce. All right, and here we go. I feel so sad because I had dozens. I was coming in and I was putting down dozens of ferns in the background to make sure that we would have plenty for all of our animals to, to eat. And I was adding in so many pretty plants. And I was like, oh, everybody's going to love it when they come back. And we've got all of these beautiful plants. And I killed it all. I killed it all, you guys. Ah, well, let's get some more plants, actually, because we did get a lot of those terra coins. So we can get pineapple, strangler fig. I finally figured out that if you grab the bar and, like, scooch it manually, you can see all of the different things that you can get. The Amazon flame tree, which apparently produces fruit. The kapok tree, uh, which doesn't produce fruit, it looks like. The papaya tree, pineapple, strangler figs. The um, acacia palm. Let's go ahead and unlock the acacia palm. And then let's go ahead and can I unlock another creature? Well, we can get armadillos, and then we can get pollinators, and we can get more frogs, which are like, let's get some frogs going on here, and let's get some armadillos. This is, this is going to be pretty cool. I'm pretty excited. We have a lot of creatures. So the frogs can actually eat the ants. So let's put down like another pile of ants, and the ants are scavengers, so I think they'll start cleaning up these skulls, I hope. And then the frogs can come along and let's see if I can have them overlap with some of the ant colonies. I've got an ant colony over here. So let's put the frogs like next to the little riverbed here. And then let's zip back here. And let's see, did I unlock one of the plants? Yeah, I did. So let's go ahead and put down, oh my gosh, one of these gigantic plants. Oh my goodness gracious. This whole thing was covered in ferns before I killed everything. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. It's so sad. Like this whole thing, I had ferns so thickly placed everywhere. I was really going to impress all of you guys and I killed everything. <gasps> Look at the little hoppers! They're so adorable! Look at them! Oh my gosh! 
gosh, they're so cute. And now we have some mushrooms. We have some ferns showing up. Are the little are the little ants gonna come over? Where are the ants? Oh, are these the earthworms? I think those are the earthworms. And then here are the little ants. There we go. Oh, hi guys! Can you clean those skulls up for me? I would really appreciate it. Like this was this was completely unintentional. Um, hmm. Hmm. Oops. Yay! Apparently we have some weekly income. Our diversity score on plants has gone down tremendously. Uh, I think you get more Terra Coins depending on how high you can keep your diversity score and definitely how high you can keep the health. So let's back out a little bit and let's see how the health of our plants are. There's a lot of detritus right now and everybody's freaking out over that. And I think actually, I have to remember where we found it. Was it over here? Oh my goodness, look at this! A zone has reached uh, detritus. Level three, plants and animals are getting sick. Plants and animals are getting sick. Oh my gosh, they all died. They had low health and they died. Look at this horror. Look at the mass extinction that has affected our biodome. I am a terrible ecologist. <laughs> oh no, I put it on hard mode and just look at all the death. What am I even gonna do with this much death? Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, at least we have a lot more energy again. So I'm pretty sure a zone has reached. Where? Where? Where has a zone reached? I want to see where's the zone that has reached the, the bad zone. Okay. Wow. You can really scroll through a lot of this stuff. And I did find out that this is actually a porch. So this is a PC porch for, I think, a... um. Oh gosh, what was it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is taking a little while to scroll back up. There we go. A zone has reached level two. They're getting sick, uh, unaffected, but they're getting sick over here. Very sick over here. Okay, we need to make sure that doesn't happen. These guys are okay. These guys are okay. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. So I'm pretty sure I'm trying to find... Hang on a second, game. You hold still for just a moment. Because where on earth is it? Aha, it's this one. That's right. So here's zone one. There's its hit points or its health points, I guess. But the tritus level is like through the roof. Um, huh. Yeah. Let's see. How am I going to fix that? You can sort by category and the achievements. So I think we want to get the place 10 earthworm territory. So we have two right now. That's what I was trying to find. All right. There we go. So let's add in the earthworms. Earthworms to the rescue, you guys. Earthworms to the rescue. We can just start putting them all over. And they're going to break down all of that poop and possibly many, many, many of the skulls <laughs> that have started showing up. So hopefully that'll start getting fixed pretty soon. Let's just focus on putting down earthworms for now. How's this little earthworm population doing? Ooh, and we can read all about them. Look at the reproduction go. Woo! Earthworms are decomposers. They eat detritus, which is dead or decaying matter from animals and plants. They help to break down decaying matter so that it can be released by other organisms in the ecosystem. Without decomposers like earthworms, ecological waste would pile up and there wouldn't be enough room for anything new. Not to mention it all starts dying. Uh, predators, an earthworm is a delicacy for many types of animals. Moles, frogs, birds, foxes, and armadillos will help themselves to a juicy earthworm. Notes. Humans sometimes use earthworms to help them take care of trash, which is so true. I can't wait to have a worm bin one day. <gasps> I wonder if when we move, Chips will let me have a worm bin in the backyard. I'm gonna have to ask. Worms will eat almost any organic matter, even some processed items like cardboard or paper. Once worms have eaten the organic matter, it can be used as compost. Compost is full of nutrients and is very healthy for plants, which is why I freaking love decomposers, even though that sounds like a really weird thing to say, because they're the ones who are the key in between. Oh, is there a little lost a lot? How you doing, buddy? Oh, your hunger is just, your hunger is piling up. Let's get you some more um, of these guys. Some more little ugutis. And I'm going to put him right here. And hopefully he'll be in your territory. And you can you can chomp on him should you so choose. And I need to give him more food though. Because he needs to have something too. Let's unlock more of the plants. Like the strangler fig. And why not this guy too? Why not the pineapple? Just because we can. And let's start putting down some of these plants too. Because I think they sound good. Ooh, and they're so pretty! Not only are they good, but they're pretty, and it will provide more food for our little agoutis. Oh my gosh, look how many there are! There's so many! There's life back in the biodome. Thank goodness. Because <laughs> I killed everything. Where'd all the frogs go? Frogs? Ah, oh, good, good, good. It looks like, thank goodness, 
We are finally starting to get up to the level where the little decomposing earthworms, or I should say the earthworm decomposers, <laughs> decomposing earthworms is an entirely different thing, uh, are able to keep up with some of the poop. But yeah, like I was saying, that's why I love decomposers, even though that may sound on the surface to be a really odd thing to say. But if a tree died or an animal died and they just laid there and nothing ever happened to the body, then all of that energy and all of those nutrients never go anywhere. And I, that's why I get so excited about mushrooms. To me, mushrooms are kind Kind of like this beautiful link in between death and new life being born and so you guys have seen me when i'm like mushrooms and i get super excited and that's kind of the honest reflection over why i love mushrooms so much to me they kind of are that representative between where life was and where life in the future could be they link those two things together and i really think that's amazing and that's something very just awe-inspiring to me. So that's why I love mushrooms, even though you guys thought it was just for a very silly random reason. All right, how are we going here? Little carnivore, little ocelot. Are we coming for the frog? I think, I think the frog, the frog, I am pretty sure that is now a dead frog. That is a dead frog. It indeed says dead frog. All right, little guy, sorry about that. Well, he's a dead frog now. All right, so let's keep adding earthworms as long as we can, because they're going to clean up all that poop. They're going to be so awesome, clean up all the poop. And I want to get that achievement. <laughs> I want to add enough earthworms you can get the achievement. Because apparently the um, detritus piling up and the poo piling up basically and the dead plant matter is what killed everything last time. And really, I was watching it all day like, oh, I can't wait to show this off to everybody because they loved it so much last night. Look at our mushrooms. And then the people who have already been tweeting me, you guys have been amazing, like already tweeting me like, I never thought somebody would say they love watching the like flying mushrooms fall down. And it was just really fun. So I was really looking forward to it. And then I killed everything. I killed everything, you guys. All right. So let's see what's over here. How many more? How many more? <gasps> Just one more pile of worms! Yay! We did it! Achievement complete. Can of decomposers. Thanks, earthworms, for keeping detritus from wrecking the biodome. And I hope I'm saying that correctly now. Detritus. Yeah, detritus. There we go. I knew that was the right way to say it, and for some reason I kept, like, messing up on that. All right, so let's go ahead and put some millipedes down, too. What do they look like? Look at you, little millipedes. Where are you? <gasps> They're so cute! Look at them! It's a little swarm of millipedes. Oh, geez. And then I guess I can save that. Where on earth do the pictures save to, by the way, you guys? Because I would love to see some of your pictures of the things you've made. All right. And let's put a strangler fig down because that sounds amazing. And maybe we should start adding in some more creatures. Like, <gasps> look, omnivores. Oh, my gosh. A marsh deer. Are you kidding me? Is Are there, like, larger? <gasps> There's a jaguar and capybara. Oh, my gosh. I think I would need to unlock some more of the domes. Can I? How do you unlock more of the domes? Zone. Oh my gosh. We're going to need to unlock some more of the zones, you guys. That would be really, really cool. Because then, yes, and see, our weekly income is already starting to come in just as I was talking about unlocking some of the zones. So I think we're going to wait on unlocking more creatures in here. Let's get some more agouti in here. Let's see if they can hang out up here. See, now these will be like the fig tree agouti. You guys had some really cool names on like naming each of the groups. So here's the island agouti. Their population seems to be doing very well. And then down here is the strangler fig agouti or the fig agouti. And they seem to be doing pretty good too. And apparently, apparently, yep, they're just falling from the thin air there. That's adorable for some reason. I don't know why I find that so amusing. Look at them. I feel like they've gotten some updates already. So that's really cool. There's a little pile of sleeping a goatee. Well, I hope they're happy. Let's make sure they have plenty of food. All right, little guys, let's use, let's give you some pineapples. There you go. You can have some pineapples that are just kind of clustering, clustering around down here. Then maybe we'll give you some flowers. Yeah, and then let's get them some ferns because I love ferns. They're so pretty. I really did have almost this entire dome 100% filled with ferns before I killed everything. <laughs> So now we just have to see. And we have one population of ocelots now. I'm not going to lie, you guys. We had a lot more ocelots than this. And they died. So we're going to have to make sure. Good. The zone is now in a healthy state. Thank goodness. All right. So I, we needed to add in a lot more decomposers. So just keep that in mind because it's kind of a reminder how the bottom of the food chain, when you have the decomposers and then you've got like your prey items and building up to your predator, it really is a gigantic pyramid because that bottom level, the lower levels have to be much, much bigger because you have to eat a lot of food. Like 
we're wonderful predators. We're wonderful like omnivores and we're high up there on the food chain and we have to eat a lot of food to sustain ourselves compared to say like a bird, you know, things like that. So like this frog has to eat less than us. This ocelot eats less than us, but it eats more than the frog. And so the frog has to eat more ants though. And so the, the ants like uh, basically it just works its way up. So there have to be hundreds of ants to feed one frog. And then there have to be like a dozen frogs to feed one ocelot. So when you combined like all of the ants that that dozen frogs need to eat, that's a lot of ants. That's so many ants. And so the bottom of it has to be a lot bigger. All right, let's add more ants. Now that I was talking about ants, I just kind of want to like add another colony of ants in. There we go. There you go, little guys. All right, so it seems like they're doing better. Hopefully not going to die as quickly. <laughs> that was really sad. <laughs> oh. I can add in some more ferns over here for this ant pile. And then, oh, ah, I'm out of energy again. And then we seem to be doing okay now. Uh, everybody seems, yeah, everybody's back up to 100% health. Oh, yeah, look at that. 100% health, average hunger, kind of going down. Where's a frog? Let's, let's sample how a frog is feeling. I need to find a frog. Oh, mushrooms! So many mushrooms! All right, there's the agouti. Where's a frog? Are all my frogs dead? I should have some frogs somewhere in here. All right, let's see. There's some millipedes. It looks like my frogs have jumped off. Maybe they're off to feed somewhere. Here's my little agouti again. Huh. Well, I don't see any frogs. I don't see anything other than a goatee right now, and I know that's not true. I know there's some ocelots somewhere around here. Oh, there's a frog! All right! And his hunger is up there a little bit. And let's see. What do I need for you, sir? There are over 4,000 species of frogs. Some are very common while others are critically endangered. Biodome frogs are a generic species programmed to behave like frogs in the Ranidae family. They're green, they eat insects, and they're not poisonous. Cool. All right, so let's see. A few frog species give birth uh, to live young that look like very small dart frog, adult frogs. Most frogs, however, start out as eggs, then tadpoles, which is very cool. Good, man, I love all of these notes. This is going to be so fun just to read little bits and pieces of it as time goes on. Let's add in some orchids because they're so pretty. And more orchids because they're so pretty. <laughs> I don't need any other reasons. They're so pretty. That's all I need. And then maybe some more millipedes because I am worried about my frog population. And then the millipedes are going to clean up all the poop. And let's see, some pollinators because I worry about my plants. So let's add in another group of moths. Plus the moths can actually serve as food too. All right, that should be good. And then more ferns and maybe another palm tree. Ah, I'm out of money again. Ah, the biodome health is going down a little bit. Average hunger is kind of up there. Come on, pineapples. <laughs> I want more pineapples or a strangler fig that I can put over here. In fact, let's wait till we can get a strangler fig over there. And then I think we're going to be good again. And the next time what we might do is set up a, another dome in another area. And we'll kind of monitor like the grasslands or we will monitor the desert and then we'll come back and we'll check on Fernville and then we'll check in on the other ones and just kind of rotate between them and see what worked, what didn't. So this time we have added in like a whole giant can of worms and I think it's going to really benefit everybody. There we go. Let's put a strangler fig down. Ah, I want to add more pineapples. I want to put more pineapples on their little island. Are you hungry? Oh, he's so cute. All right, let's go ahead and put more pineapples. There you go, buddy. So this should be good. This should be good. Oh, and we have fish in here. What? What? I could have fish in here. How do I replenish them? That's so cool. We're going to have to figure out how and when and where we get fish because I didn't even know we could have fish in our river. So that's going to be pretty neat. But all right, guys, Fernville is slowly coming back to life. Um, looks like our ocelots are doing good. And I'm really excited to see when they reproduce. So hopefully that will happen pretty soon. And let's see how our, yep, the agoutis are doing okay. Their population is still a little bit on the lower side. So we might need to add in, in fact, let's add in one more group of them kind of back here. And then whatever food items I can afford for them really quickly, like a zebra plant over here. And then anything else like a fern at the last second? Because I'm worried about the ocelots having enough food now. And then that makes me worried that maybe I added too many of them. See, this is what it is. It's all about balance. And that's really kind of the key to life too. So it's kind of a pretty thing to think about. But yeah, we'll wait for just a second. Come on, little guys. 
And then I will leave it running. And then next time we come back to Fernville, we'll see if we can expand to another zone. And then we can start thinking about the bigger area and the more creatures, that bigger, broader base to the bottom of that pyramid of kind of prey consumption that we could put over. Because I, one day, really, 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 really want to have a jaguar. That would be so cool. And some capybara running around. Oh my gosh, yes. I love those little guys. I would love that. All right. And a couple more ferns. Yay! Look at that, diversity score for our animals is way going up. So we probably need to add in more diversity for the plants in the near future as well. Because the more diversity we have for the plants, the healthier the animals are going to be and the less chance that if something goes wrong with one species of plant, the whole system collapses. Which is another thing we can talk about in the future. So this is going to be really fun. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.